Hello everybody, it's the Red X Sonic here, and today I have some very interesting news to share with you today. So around the release date for Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 for the Nintendo Switch, I reached out to Helena Taylor and I decided to ask her if we could have an interview because of the hype of Bayonetta. And a quick disclaimer, she agreed to have an interview with me as long as I asked her only original questions for me to do research beforehand, not to ask her any questions that she has already been asked. Which makes sense, you don't want to be redundant and you want to get more new information out there. And then with Bayonetta 3 being revealed on the horizon, I was just like, oh, this would be a really cool time to get an interview. So I reached out to her and she said, yeah, sure. Send me some questions and we'll get down to it. So I'm like, all right, sweet, cool, all right. Uh, so, you know, made up my questions, and I sent it out to Helena. No response. And now, the only questions I asked her really regarded Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2. But some of them, I asked her, you know, questions about the character, and you know what? I'll read you the questions. And I got no response. And I was thinking, okay, she did take a few times to respond in the earlier, so I'm like, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Give her some time. She's busy. She she is, you know, a person too. And I was like, alright, you know. So I reach out again. I'm like, you know, hey Helena. And what got me next shocked me. So I'm going to cover up real quick an interview Helena Taylor had. So for the 2018 uh, Game Blast event, she was part of the Bayonetta... <clears throat> Well, there was more games that they were streaming than just Bayonetta, but they were playing Bayonetta, and she was a guest there while Sega was playing, and Taylor didn't actually talk really about Bayonetta 3. It was really brief, and there wasn't really anything to say, but there's a good reason for that, and Helena did also quote, she was not asked yet to reprise her role as Bayonetta. Based on this accusation, it could be... An early development, Taylor believes. But voiceover work usually happens towards the end. And Helena knows that. And she believes that she will eventually be asked to voice Bayonetta. But she said once she figures out that she's been asked to voice Bayonetta, she cannot tell us. And she made that clear. She said when that happens, my mouth is shut. I can't talk about it. And what, why that is interesting is because one of my questions, or a few may have asked what is her opinion on Bayonetta 3 or what she wants to see in Bayonetta 3 or, you know, as simple as a gun color for Bayonetta 3, what does she want to see? Not what it is. But if she already knows the answer, I feel like she would not be allowed to talk about it. And then my email comes in and says, after being so high and cheerful for doing an interview, check back with me in six months. Why? Why, you just said that you would gladly, fastly answer my questions the second you had free time. I get if you say, you know, message me back in a week or three weeks, you know, but six months. You got this planned out to a, a detail. Um, I hope this doesn't ruin my chances with our interview, but I thought this was very interesting, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, tell me what you guys think. I think Bayonetta's coming out October 2018 or Holiday 2018. And at the very, very latest, January, February of 2019. And that is pushing it. But what do you guys think? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. This has been the Reddick Sonic. And I hope that you guys join the Reddick Empire. I'll catch you all later. There's only one way to bring in the new year.